What's up guys, the tech spy here and something really really cool just came out. You can now get custom themes on your iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch straight through the App Store. This is absolutely incredible and I'm super excited to show you guys exactly how to do this right now. Now before I start, be sure to slap a like on this video, it does help me out a ton and this is absolutely amazing. Right now, credit to iDevice Help for finding this and anyways, this is super simple to do and again, all we got to do is open up the App Store, click on the link that will be down below the description or bring right here to Mokolo themes and icons. Now there are other apps you can download to get themes from the app store, but this is the greatest one that we found so far and it's really, really cool. Anyways, all you gotta do is tap on this button right here and the download will start. Now this is a free app. However, some of the themes in here are paid, but the majority are actually free. So it's really, really cool. And it's gonna open this up and right off the bat, we got some nice themes. Look at this. We got Felicity. We got Stein, which is kind of like a darker theme. We got Ricotta. We got Lumi. We got iOS 6 Classic. That one looks really beautiful. We got Darker Black Light. We got Convergence, EOS Fall, and so many more. If you scroll down, there are even more amazing themes right here. So you guys can take a look. And there are so many amazing themes that you can go and download. And again, this app is available directly inside the App Store. I can't believe Apple is finally allowing it. We've got the Big Sur icons right there, and the list goes on and on. Anyways, I found one over here that caught my eye, so it was right here. 1984, I Museum. So anyways, I'm going to go and tap on Get right here, and it'll bring this up. Now, you can scroll down, you can see you can download system apps, which are the stock iOS apps, and there's also third-party apps right there. And you can also create a custom pack if you want to, right over here. Now, anyways, I'm just going to go and download these system apps, these stock iOS apps, so tap on Down right there, it'll bring up the profile. Tap on allow, hit close, X out of here, and then open up your settings application. And what you want to do then is head down over to general and then scroll all the way down to profiles and device management. Here you will find the icon pack they downloaded, so 1984 system apps. There it is. It's going to tap on it and it is verified. So tap on install, type in our passcode if you do have one, and just like that, hit install and hit done. And just like that, we are basically done. Look at all the app icons that it downloads right away. So it basically gets an entire pack and that's all you have to do. Now again, this is perfectly safe to install. Now if you're on iOS 14.3, you will get no shortcuts redirects. So iOS 14.3 is currently in beta, but again, as soon as it's released to the public, it can still update and you will get no shortcut redirects, which is super, super cool. So you know how with the past method, you would open an app and first open up share shortcuts and then open up the app with this, it would open up right away. So for example, let me go ahead and open up Safari and boom, it opens up Safari just like that. Yeah, for some apps, it still has that shortcuts redirect, but that's only if you're not on iOS 14.3. Again, if you're on iOS 14.3, all these apps will open up without the shortcuts redirect, which is amazing, but I am not on iOS 14.3 on this device, which is why it still has shortcuts, but actually everything works really well and you can delete the icons that you do not have. But yeah, everything works really, really well. And it's super, super cool to just add these themes very easily. Now to remove the theme, all you gotta do is head back over to settings and that same spot. So again, we are in general and then all the way down to profiles device management. Again, just tap on the theme and this time tap on remove profile, type in our passcode and just like that, tap on remove and just like that. Now all the app icons have disappeared and you can go back over here and install a different theme, which is really, really cool. Let's go and try out the iOS 6 theme to show you guys again how to do it. So it's gonna download the icon pack. All I gotta do is hit allow, profile download, hit close, it's out of here. And now we're just gonna simply gonna go over here and see what this icon pack looks like. So it's like that and done. Boom, you guys can see there are all the application icons and whoa, that looks really, really cool. I really like the design and they work. But yeah, guys, this would work a lot better, again, on iOS 14.3. Again, currently that is in a beta, but you can update to the beta if you are a developer, but if you're not, just going to wait for it to officially release. I just think that it's super cool that Apple is finally allowing us to customize app icons on stock iOS. This is TechSpot. Peace out.